So for this lab today, I actually have a vertical height reader. Um, how this is done is by measuring the time of how long someone's vertical height is, or how long they're in the air. So what I've done is I've used a timer zero interrupt to measure the, the uh, clock time in the background of up to 100 nanoseconds. And then I have two other interrupts that are called um, INT0 and INT1, which measure either the rising fall or falling of um, port B0 and port B1. So what this, how this is done is um, I have one reading RB0 as um, the rising edge, and then I have the other interrupt reading RB1 as the falling edge. And at each of those times, or at each of those um, interrupts, record the time what timer zero is setting. So this is done by, um, I created, I shorted RB0 and RB1 together. So this then creates, whenever I press RB0 or RB1, it will trigger both of them on. So with that, then I can measure the time of between both of those interrupts and subtract them, which that's what this number is displaying here. Um, and then what we can do is using the kinematic equation of uh, 1 half AT squared, but if you divide by T by 2, it's 1 eighth AT squared, which um, will give the height in meters, which then you have to convert meters to inches, which that's what this number is displaying up here. So by holding down RB0, then releasing, well that's not an accurate reading, we'll go like 0.6 seconds it gives it tells us that it's 22 inches high jumped so that's about it for this lab